motorcycle gear makes you look so sexy. So we're off. Right. Didn't know if that was going to work. First time out with my wintry gloves. So I've noticed that I'm showing too little horizon when I'm doing these YouTube videos. So I'm going to try and do that better. And another thing I've done is I've actually got myself a new setup for my microphone and my helmet. I got new padding for my helmet and it's really comfortable now. My head is not a swimmy swim, 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 swim in the helmet anymore. It's just so comfortable again. And I feel a lot more dynamic now. So which way do we go? I'm not gonna go the motorway. I'm sick of motorways. That would have to be, wouldn't it? Oh, that was a bit that was a bit dodgy, wasn't it? So my dears, we're out on the Honda CBF 600 SA. That's a long one, isn't it? And uh, it's a bit chilly around my legs, actually. I brought my rain gear with me because looking up there, it doesn't look too nice, does it? I don't know if you can pick that up, but it's sort of getting darker and greyer by the minute. But that doesn't worry an Irishman, does it? So I really hope now the sound is better because it's been terrible the last while. I've changed my microphone, I've a different setup in my helmet, and I hope I have the microphone connected. I really do. I checked that. Yes, I do. We're off to uh, one of the largest motor motorbike accessory stores in Germany, and I. It's a, it's a big chain, it's a big chain of accessory stores, and I think this one could actually be the largest one of all. Oh, I bled the brakes on the bike now, and they are lovely. That is just one finger braking without the back brake. Anyway, back to what I was saying. I want to go and pay a bill because I purchased the new padding for this Shoei Neotech 2 for the helmet and they sent it to my home which was very friendly of them and I didn't actually pay when I was in the shop and I believe it's 84 euros I owe them so I'm going out to sort that matter out and make sure they get their money because everyone wants their money and while I'm on this little trip, I want to chat to you about this more than excellent CBF Honda 600 SA. This is the last model ever built, unfortunately really, because I think it's an absolutely fantastic bike. Ah, thank you for warning me that my indicators were on. I do happen to do that now and again. So anyway, where was I? I keep on getting interrupted. There's a couple of things I want to do today. I want to go to Lewis and I want to pay my bill. I bought new padding for my helmet. That's the Shoei Neotech 2 that I'm presently wearing. And they sent it to my doorstep. And I fitted it yesterday and reorganized everything in my helmet, as in change the microphone, put it in a different position. Oh, and I'm going to make sure that the vent is closed in the front. If I can... Ah, that's it now. 
No, wait, that's open. I don't know, is that open? That feels open. Doesn't seem to be doing anything. No, I got it now. That's closed. And I'll open the top one so I can get a little bit of air in. Anyway, the padding was fitted yesterday and I'm really chuffed with it because I actually thought I might need a new helmet. It was just not fitting me anymore. The helmet was actually too low down on my head and if I was on a sports bike and you're leaning slightly forward on a, on a sports bike, well, not only slightly forward, but a good bit more forward than you would be on a, let's say, a BMW GS or something like that, where you're sitting like as if you're sitting on the toilet. It just feels an awful lot better now. And I'm much more comfortable with the helmet. And I didn't actually need to get a new helmet. I was actually looking forward to getting a new helmet. I might have bought a showy again. Then again, I might have gone straight for the RI this time round. Because I've never actually owned an RI. And I believe they're amazing helmets. I've never tried one on. I've had Bell, I've had AGV, I've had that German Schubert one, which is not bad either. Oh, I could get new padding for that as well. I'll give that a bit of a treatment too, because I now and then like to wear it actually. I was online having a little look and I thought I'd have a look at some used motorcycles. And then I went on to Honda, Yamaha, Ducati, BMW and my search was a sort of a middle sized, well let's just put it this way, something like this that I'm sitting on, a sports tourer, the do it all perfect bike. And I couldn't find anything. Now have these sports tourers, these sort of mid-sized sports tourers, been eaten up by enduros, cruisers, scramblers, ADVs or EDVs or whatever they call them, or nobody's building this type of bike anymore. And why not? The bike is amazing. It's, it's, it's brilliant. It has a little fairing on it. It has a four-cylinder screamer engine. It pulls really well. You can go into town on this and you can just sieve through the traffic. It's light and nimble. It's really good in the Alps. It has brilliant brakes. It's very reliable. Now, if you need to go down a green, green lane, well, I think I can show you a video that will prove this. The sports tour is gone. Has the era gone forever? Is it getting now replaced by electric bikes? Is that sort of the deal? Is that what they're trying to sell us? I don't know. I just can't find anything similar online. Okay, there are sports tours out there, but you'd have to go and buy a Hayabusa or a Kawasaki H2 on one of those huge jukes. And I don't want a 1300cc bike. And I don't want a turbocharged sports tourer. I want a small, nippy, lightweight, with a fairing, a sit-up type of driving position, comfy legs. Hi guys, how you doing blokes? Nice to see you out. That's what I want. I want a bike which will suit my everyday needs. I can go to work on this. I'll just tell you one thing, lads. And girls. Well, girl. I'd love if more girls would watch. But anyway, I'll tell you what, lads. I get into my garage and I look at all the bikes and say, which one will I take out today? Which one will do the job best? And you know what? 
I look at my BMW 1250 GS and say, nah, it's too heavy to lug around that around the parking spaces now at the moment. It's lovely and comfortable and uh, it's great on a long tour, but it's not the bike just to go down to the shops on and get your errands. I mean, it's a different type of bike. So then I say, okay, well, let's get on to the Triumph Speed Twin, which is a gorgeous bike. I have a 2021 Triumph Speed Twin 1200. And I'm delighted with it. I've no traffic ahead of me. There's no oil in this corner there was the last time. Look at the way this thing goes. I look at my Triumph, Triumph Speed Twin and say, nah. You know what? I've absolutely no weather protection on that thing at all. What happens when? <laughs> That's a guy, what a So anyway. So folks, we're back, and that was Lewis. I paid my bill. Eighty four euros. I still padding in my almost. The cheek padding and the main top padding. So I was delighted with that, and I was able to pay here. I would have got a bill, they said, online, but I didn't see one, so that's done, and dusted. That's good, my Liebe. So, that was Lewis, I hope you enjoyed it. Lovely people there, I must say, really liked them. And, uh, I like going to the store. I nearly always get everything. I was going to buy another ram mount, but uh, I thought 58 euros, I'll save my money. So filtering on this bike is quite easy. Oh, Jesus, not when there's a police car in front of you. There's a police car. They don't like it. You're not actually legally allowed to filter in this country. So the rosers. Changed my mind. I'm just going to go and see BMW and I might go out on a little ride on a uh, on a bike Ring mirrors are great on this bike actually very stable as you can see my camera is mounted to the front right mirror, mirror and uh, it works very well So folks, we're filming with 4K, 
and I saw the quality of my videos are a lot better than uh, the 1080p I'm not lucky with the weather. Not a drop yet. So here we go to the left. I wouldn't mind going on the new Yamaha, I think it's called the XR, XCR, it's the 900cc triple, which is in the MT-09, with a retro body on it. It's got a funny looking saddle, but I've had it sort of in mind, and I've been wondering what it's like to drive. I've driven the MT-09 and I've driven the MT-07, and uh, the MT-09 is a little vicious thing. <laughs> 